and welcome to another episode of Driveway Dudes. Today I'm going to show you how to safely jump start your car with a jump box, also known as a starter pack. Now what you want to do first is lift the bonnet or hood on your car and you want to locate the jump start terminals. Now it's different on every car, sometimes you just jump it straight from the battery, but on this particular car because the battery is in the boot, the jump start terminals are up front. So you find this one here and it's a positive terminal, you just lift this cap out of the way. And the negative terminal, if you follow me over here, is this little bolt here. So please refer to your owner's handbook for the correct location for your particular car. So what you do now is you grab your jump box, like so. You get your crocodile clip and you place it on the positive terminal, like so. Make sure it's good and tight. And you take the negative crocodile clip and you place it on this. Sometimes you can hear a little spark, but don't worry, that's okay. This means it's making a good connection. And on this particular jump starter, you place the power on. And next, you try and jump start the car. Now, if it doesn't start first time, it is recommended that you leave it for five minutes on the car and try again. Okay, so let's see what happens when we go to jump start the car. So if you're following me down here, the car. Right, but that's okay. Make sure it's out of gear, of course, or it's in park if it's an automatic. And you turn the ignition, wait for everything to prime, all the lights to go out. And there you go. The car just starts the first time. So if you follow me back out of the car, while well, the car is still running, of course. You now switch off your jump box or starter pack, disconnect the negative lead first, and then the positive lead. And you take the jump box there. And you now lower the bonnet. Oh, don't forget the cap, of course. Bonnet. This is a good tip as well. Never slam your bonnet. Just place it down on the catch and then push firmly down. You don't want to damage any part of the front of your bonnet. So there you have it. That's how you safely jump start your car using a jump box or starter pack. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe.